Can I ask you a quick question? No. <clears throat> City workers? Yeah. Stand by your right hand. Swear the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes. Thank you. Thank Please you. sit down. <clears throat> Good morning, could you please, or good afternoon at this point, could you please state your name and spell your last name for the Sure. Uh, my name is Pinoz Paran. I'm a member of St. Lucas. Can you spell your name and your last name for the Sure. Name, my first name is Pinoz B for boy, I N O J, last name Paran, B for feature, R E D H A N N for Nancy. Thank you very much. Paul Zazito, S Z E T O, Cambridge, please. Tyler Bubenik, B U E N I K, licensing investigator. While performing a field investigation, an underage individual working with the Cambridge License Commission was able to procure a six-pack of beer on August 15, 2019 at 4 p.m. at City Liquors located at 620 Cambridge Street. I picked up the underage operative from the Cambridge Police Department on the afternoon of August 15th. I collected all items from the individual so that there was nothing on their person and gave them one marked $20 bill. We reviewed the License Commission's compliance check guidelines and the individual signed the Agreement of Participation, Waiver of Liability, and Guidelines. The underage individual entered the establishment. I waited outside of the premise on the sidewalk with a clear view of the door. When the operative exited the establishment, they were in possession of a six-pack of beer, which Officer Zito and I then immediately retrieved, along with the change. I also asked if the cashier who sold them the six-pack asked for identification, and the operative informed me that they had not. I returned the six-pack and change, informed the cashier that they had sold the six-pack to an underage person, and requested my marked $20 bill back, which they returned. I then filled out inspection form number 998, which was signed, and a copy was left with the establishment. Yes, um, so I'm just here to tell you what happened. So uh, my employee uh, saw this individual, and in his judgment, he thought he wasn't less than 21, because the other guy was bigger than him. So that was his explanation, but I'm not here to argue that I didn't make a mistake. I'm here to apologize to the board that we did make a mistake uh, based on the judgment my employees made. Um, I usually call my establishment um, every, pretty much every day. I just want every employee that we need to check IDs. But unfortunately, this individual didn't listen to me. And this is why I'm here today. So I had to let him go. Uh, I know it might sound harsh, and I know that I'm going to be suspect of police. Uh, but these are what I've done, and to change for the future, what I've done is I also put a small piece of paper, like, like a sign, in front of all the people to say, please get your IDs out, uh, get your IDs ready uh, when you get to the counter. So that's like mandatory for every uh, every customer, except if they're very really old, we want to offend them. Um, but you know, I'm not here to argue with you guys. Um, I apologize to this board. And also, if I'm go going to be suspended two days, I would request if I can get suspended in the days that uh, Proof 21 has dates available. Um, that's my only request. So I can train my employees press the same thing. Because I don't want to lay off other employees for those two days. They're going to lose their job for two days. That's something for them. Instead, I can pay them to go to these classes, and you know, all, all of them can go to this classes. So that's all I Um, so this particular location, the transfer of the license happened in 2014. Um, and other than a noise um, issue um, about, I think it was an HVAC. Yeah, it was condition you know, yeah. roof and it was house warning. are so close to each other. And yeah, it was a warning. From there, I fixed the problem. Yeah. No issues. Yeah, yeah no issues. Again, I, I feel like a broken record at this point, but I find a violation um, just based on the seriousness of this offense, I would issue a two-day suspension. And I would deny the request to specifically um, have the licensee choose the dates and proceed with our process of the dates being uh, chosen by a designee. Mm -hmm. You'll receive a statement of reasons.